So apparently, um, as I said in one video, uh, one of the first 4K videos I did on my new camcorder, you know, people are kind of divided, you know, you know, divided over the new Mario Brothers movie. A lot of people like it. A lot of people don't. You know, a lot of people are basically uh, looking at it as another piece of woke propaganda, you know, and so on. And I think the reason we look at that last part right there, why some look at the movie as nothing but more woke propaganda, is because of Peach. That's right, Princess Toadstool, Princess Peach. That is why. And the reason being is instead of being the damsel in distress that she's always been known to be, instead she is a badass. She is a boss. She is basically like, you know, I don't need Mario or Luigi to save me. I can kick Bowser's ass on my own. And that's what she does, essentially, according to a lot of folks. And a lot of people have pointed out that that's one of the main issues they have with the film. That mainly she is, you know, another example of woke propaganda. And look, let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves, folks. You know, let's not get ahead of ourselves. As I just check something out here. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, folks. Let us not forget that one comparison a lot of people make about this film. One comparison is they all say it's basically a feature-length version, updated feature-length version, of the classic Super Mario Brothers Super Show from the late 80s. That is what they're saying it is. And we all know that in that show, Peach had moments to shine. Peach, at times, as far as I can remember, had moments where she rescued Mario. Now, what's even more interesting is you want to take a step further in other Mario uh, media. What about the Mar Super Mario Brother Adventure comics in Nintendo Power? The one that's now you can get in a collection. And, by the way, I recommend it as well. What about those? Guess what Peach looked like there? A badass, a badass, a mother effing badass, if you will. That is what she looked like. That is how she was portrayed. So it's not the first time any Mario media has portrayed Peach in this manner. I think what it is, is we're you know, in a situation where we're at the tail end of this woke culture, council culture, SJW culture kind of, you know, uh, ordeal, situation, error, if you will. You know, what the in the eyes of a lot of folks who are at the tail end of it, that the last thing we need is more propaganda in its favor. But what they fail to acknowledge, or what people fail to let them know and acknowledge them or teach them about, is this is not the first time. It's not. But there's, this, but there's also... Also something interesting. Also something interesting. And I read this somewhere. I don't know if it's true to an extent. But Anna Taylor-Joy, the girl that voices Peach, according to what I read somewhere, she, now correct me if I'm wrong, but she stated she did not want to play, I don't know what it was, but she stated in a way that she refused to play Peach, you know, unless Peach, you know, was treated like a badass or something. It basically, from what I understand, she was not going to voice Peach unless Peach was not a damsel. That was it. Unless Peach could be looked at as she could take care of herself. I read that somewhere. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but that might, that might explain as well as to why Peach was written the way she was, because if they were going to get Anna Taylor Joy to come in and voice her, which obviously was their, you know, their intent, you know, from the start, that they were going to have to write her in, they were going to have to write Peach in a way that would be enticing to someone like Anna to say, yes, I will commit to this. 
So, obviously, you know, obviously, you know, you, you can, if you want to blame anybody, and, and I don't recommend you do, I do not recommend you do, but if you wanted to blame anybody for Peach being portrayed the way she was, then blame, you know, Anna, blame Anna Taylor Joy, but I don't recommend you do, because all she's doing is her job, and as much as we may like it or may not like it, she's just also showing her support for what she strongly believes in. That's just my opinion. Just my opinion. But, you know, let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are because, I, again, one of the issues people have with the Mario Brothers movie... Now, I'll be honest with you, I have not seen it yet. I have not seen it. I swear to God. You know, I swear to God, honest. I have not seen it yet. I'm just going off of what people are talking about on the internet. And if you go here on YouTube... And I'll cross the internet, Google and everything, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. You'll see it. But I think, again, the reason people have an issue with this film, more so than disliking it, more so than feeling it's an over 90 minute advertisement for Nintendo and all that, the reason those outside of those that do like it, those that don't like it, again, one of the main reasons is they feel it's nothing but more woke propaganda and Peach is at the center of it. She is at the center of it. And again, there's many different reasons why that happened. You know, the era, the era we're in right now, or at the tail end of, as well as the lady that voiced her, wanting her to be represented in a way that didn't seem so weak or something. Again, Correct me if I'm wrong in that. You could check it out across YouTube and Google and all that. But I know I saw it somewhere. Well, that was one of the main explanations. But anyway, though, guys, I just wanted to bring my thoughts out on that real quickly. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think that's a big issue for not wanting to like the Mario movie? Or do you think maybe having that change, which I think was actually a good change, because we need, and I say this not as someone that supports woke culture or cancel culture, SJW culture, no. But I do say that as someone that's like, you know, hey, we need equal representation sometimes. I have no problem with someone like Peach being represented in that manner, no matter how it came about. I don't. Because again, like I said, you go back and you read the Super Mario Brother Adventure comics from Nintendo Power, which is now in collections that you can buy. And you'll see it's not the first time she's been given this opportunity to shine like a mother effing badass. So... Let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Do you think it's an issue? Do you think it would deter people from watching the movie? Or do you think a lot of people are just making a big ado about diddly squat? Let me know down below. Comment if you like. Love to hear from each and every one of you on this. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you all later.